हाय फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू होप्स आप सब बहुत अच्छे होंगे मेरे एक न्यू वीडियो में आपका स्वागत है एंड आज इस वीडियो में आपको बताने वाला हूँ जेनपैक कमिटमेंट सीट के बारे में अगर आप जेनपैक ज्वाइन करने जा रहे हो तो आपको एक ऑफर लेटर आया होगा एंड ऑफर लेटर के साथ एक वर्ड डॉक्यूमेंट में कमिटमेंट सीट आई होगी सो वट इज द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ द कमिटमेंट सीट एंड वट विल हैपन इफ यू विल नॉट फिल द कमिटमेंट सीट ऑल दिस थिंग्स आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट इन दिस वीडियो सो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल बिकॉज योर वन क्लिक ऑन सब्सक्रिप्शन बटन विल मोटिवेट मी एंड इफ आई विल Feel motivated, then I will record more and more videos for you. So let's begin this video. I'm going to share my screen with you and going to discuss about all this commitment sheet. So here I have a commitment sheet, and just wait few seconds. This is the commitment sheet, and what will, what are the things which contain in this commitment sheet? I'm going to discuss. First of all, your date of offer, name, designation, everything will mention in your commitment sheet. And uh, there are the four section in the commitment sheet. First section related to your working hours, shift, leaves, and all these things. Second, role changes, promotion, and third, designation or notice period. And fourth, SLA and relocation. So most important is first working hour and shift. Second, uh, most important thing about your designation and notice period. so what is importance of working hour and shift and leave so in this there are four points four to five main points like you have to work on weekend you have to work on national holiday so you are agree on this point or not all the things are mentioned here so what will happen if you will mark you are not agree on this point and what will happen after that so all the details which you will fill in this commitment sheet You will send to your HR. Your HR will be send all these commitments sheet to your manager. Okay, then manager will check your all these commitments, and if they agree uh, on that point, suppose you are uh, disagree, you are not able to work on weekends. So if manager is okay with that, then they will give you a green signal. So uh, let's join Genpex. But suppose their closing will happen every month on weekend. On Saturday Sunday, then you have to work on Saturday Sunday. Then you can't refuse this uh, condition. So at that time, manager will re back resend to you. Uh, please agree on this point. Otherwise, it is difficult for us. We will hire you. So at if you are not again agree on this point, then they will refuse your offer letter. So if you want to join, then you have to agree on all this point. If you are disagree and your manager also agree ki, uh, on your disagree point, then it will okay. But when your manager will not agree on your point, then you have no choice. You have to agree on all these points. So most important is your ninety days notice period. Suppose you are planning to uh, uh, change after one year or two year, you have to sub ninety days notice period. For management level, not for PD and PA level. If you are joining as a uh, process associate or process developer, then their notice period is thirty days. But if you are joining as a management trainee, any level four, band four, sorry, band four, then you have to serve ninety days notice period. And ninety days notice period is compulsory. Otherwise, you have to pay money. If you are Trying to early release and subject to a management manager relieving. If manager or your manager agree to release you uh, within ninety days, then they will charge some money on you. If they will not agree, then after paying money, you will not release yourself from Genpet. So this is the most important condition, and you have to mark on all these things. कुछ इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग जो मैं आपको बताऊं इफ यू यू विल वर्क ऑन ए वीकेंड लाइक सैटरडे संडे देन दे विल पे यू कॉम्प ऑफ सो डोंट वरी अबाउट वीकेंड वर्क व्हेन यू विल वर्क ऑन ए नेशनल हॉलिडे लाइक लाइक इंडिपेंडेंस डे रिपब्लिक डे 2 अक्टूबर गांधी जयंती लाइक दैट देन दे विल पे यू डबल सैलरी ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर डे सो दे विल अगेन पे यू गुड अमाउंट फॉर दैट योर 2 डे सैलरी विल गेट so this all these things are okay but only one things you have to look on this 90 days notice period in genpack so this is very high 90 days and one thing your sure, uh, promotion your promotion will be due in after 18 month but after 18 month is a minimum period you can't accept your uh, promotion within 18 month after 18 month you will be eligible for uh, your promotion but it depend upon the management they will give you your promotion after 24 month after 3 years it's you it is totally depend on your manager or senior manager or your team leader so 
and again one of the important point in this uh, uh, for your living like uh, your holiday uh, like uh, one thing just uh, give me few seconds uh, uh, one thing i want to discuss in this leave policy and this shift i understand holiday class yeah this is the important point here you can't take any leave within for six months of your joining if you want to take you can request with your manager uh, if you have uh, you want some urgent leave uh, like your health challenges your family problem so if your manager will okay and they will are allowing you then you can take leave in my case my manager will okay with that when i i always take any leave he i think he was a good person तो उन्होंने मुझे सारी छुट्टियां अलाउ की एंड जब भी मैंने छुट्टी ली सो ये आपके मैनेजर एंड सीनियर मैनेजर के ऊपर डिपेंड करता है कि वो आपको लीव देना चाहते हैं नहीं देना चाहते हैं बट दिस इज द कंडीशन एंड यू विल एग्री ऑन दिस बिकॉज जब भी आप कोई भी कंडीशन से आप रिफ्यूज करोगे देन दे विल शो योर कमिटमेंट सीट यू हैव फिल दिस कमिटमेंट सीट एट द टाइम ऑफ ज्वाइनिंग एंड यू कॉन्ट रिफ्यूज विथ एनी कमिटमेंट विच यू हैव फिल एट द टाइम ऑफ ज्वाइनिंग सो अदरवाइज another issue will created so i think i have discussed all these important point of the commitment sheet and you have to agree and if you will disagree then what will happen i have already discussed in this video hope so my uh, you will get new concepts uh, after watching this video uh, thanks bye take care and best of luck